beyond belief. Fact or fiction? Hosted by Jonathan Franks. Tonight, your challenge is to separate what is true from what is false. Five stories, some real, some fake. Can you judge which are fact and which are fiction? To find out, you must enter a world of both truth and deception. A world that is beyond belief. We've all heard the phrase, two heads are better than one. But does one head ever take the place of two? Take this picture. The only head in sight belongs to former First Lady, Lady Bird Johnson. But whose body does her head belong to? The lady on the left or the one on the right? This is an object lesson for judging our stories tonight. Where the real truth lies may remain a mystery. You'll find out which stories are true and which are false at the end of the show. As you may know, it's a difficult challenge. But we thought you'd appreciate a heads up. Do you have a favorite hiding place for money or valuables? Some people use ordinary household items like these. Some more ingenious methods, like this hollowed out book. And some put their trust in more secure objects. Objects strong enough to withstand flood, fire, even earthquakes. Dirk Sidwell has recently married Cassie Youngston. He's heard that her late husband kept his fortune hidden in a box like this. Oh, don't get Dirk wrong. He's a completely devoted husband. Completely devoted to finding the cash. Cassie Youngston's husband, Milo, had died in a thrasher accident two years ago. He left Cassie lonely, but very well off with a thriving dairy farm and no financial worries. Cassie was afraid she'd never meet anyone who could replace Milo. And then Dirk Sidwell came into her life. Cassie had met Dirk at the local church only a few weeks earlier. Dirk was just a two-bit hustler, but to a woman like Cassie, he was Prince Charming in a pickup truck. I love you, baby. I love you more. That's just not possible. <laughs> Jake Rudolph, the farm foreman, didn't like Dirk. He knew that Dirk had heard the rumor about Cassie's first husband. The story was that Milo didn't trust banks and he kept close to a million dollars in an iron strongbox hidden somewhere on the property. You are one special woman, Cassie. I want you to know, my late husband would have blessed this marriage. We never had any children, and he was so afraid of leaving me all alone. You'll never be alone again, baby cheeks. You're so sweet and good, Dirk. <laughs> What's wrong? I hate to bring this up now, Cass. In the middle of our honeymoon and all. But I'm a little low on cash, and I was wondering if... You had any money around the house? Oh, well, sure, honey. Oh, you don't have to get up. Just tell me where it is. I don't mind. Is that uh, 20 enough? Uh, sure. That'll be fine. I feel bad having to ask for this. I want you to know I'm going to earn my keep around here. I already talked to my foreman, Jake, about teaching you the dairy business. You can start tomorrow. <sighs> Cassie, I am really looking forward to learning everything there is to know about the farm. But can it wait a couple weeks? We are in the middle of a honeymoon, baby cheeks. Leave it to me to marry a hopeless romantic. <laughs> Cassie really believed that Dirk was in love with her. But the only thing on his mind was finding that hidden metal box and the million dollars inside. Every time Cassie would go into town, Dirk would take the opportunity to search for the strong box. Dirk had been looking for over a week 
and he was getting frustrated. doing what are you doing there i was checking for dry rot everything's fine Strong box. That's all you care about. Who are you? I'm Milo Youngston. And I want you to leave my castle alone. Yeah, right. I know who you are, pal, or what you're up to. But Milo Youngston's dead. Now, if you know where the strong box is, you better tell me. You'll never find it. You're dead. Where are you? Where'd you go? I'm over here, baby cheeks. Over here. Dirk. I'm up here. In time, Cassie Youngston learned that all Dirk Sidwell really wanted was her money. But Dirk was chasing an empty dream. Unlike her first husband, Milo, Cassie did believe in banks. And right after Milo died, she removed the million dollars from the strong box and put it directly into her mutual fund account. Who was it that led Dirk to his untimely demise? Was it really the ghost of Cassie's late first husband? If not, then who led Dirk into the barn that night? Did the foreman Jake have something to do with all this? But if the apparent ghost was real, why was Dirk unable to shoot him? And how do you explain the fact that the box fell at just the right time? Is this story of greed based on reality for all to see? Or have we stashed the truth away in a lockbox? We'll find out if this story is true or false at the end of our show. Next, three girls solve a frightening mystery on Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction.